Today's lesson, we are going to look at another word problem. And this requires us to use comparison model which we have learned before in primary 2 and primary 3. Now let us begin by reading the question. Daniel, Howard and Edward earn a total of 146 points. Daniel earned 45.2 more points than Howard while Howard earned 30.6 more points than Edward. How many points did Howard earn? In this question, there are three different people, namely Daniel, Howard and Edward. Before we begin, we always have to draw a line on the right hand side to help us save some space for our working. Now, for these three people, they have earned a total of 146 points. And in this question, Daniel earned 45.2 more points than Howard. So, let me start by drawing the model for Daniel and Howard. We can use the letters to represent the different names in the question. Always remember when we draw a comparison model, we have to start on the same line so that it is easy for us to compare. For Daniel, he will have a longer model because he earned more points than Howard. And as shown here, the longer portion over here represents the points that Daniel had earned more than Howard, which is 45.2. Next, the next sentence over here said, Howard earned 30.6 more points than Edward. That means to say, we need to draw a shorter model for Edward as compared to Howard. Because, Howard earned 30.6 more. Like what I mentioned earlier, the model has to start at the same point. Like this. And the portion here represents 30.6 so from the model here I can explain that Daniel earned 45.2 more points than Howard Daniel 45.2 points more than Howard and Howard earned 30.6 more points than Edward. Not forgetting that the question tells us that the three of them earn a total of 146 points. The question for us is to find the number of points Howard earned, which is what I shade over here. And this is a question mark. Now, if you look at that Howard and Daniel, I can use my ruler 
to put my ruler here and you can see that there is this portion here that represents 30.6 Now, from here, I'm going to tell you these three parts over here, which I will be shading in red, they are of the same size and so these three units, one, two, Three represented by the red ink plus 30.6 plus 30.6 plus 45.2 gives me a total of 146 points. Now, from here, I can write three units plus 30.6 plus 30.6 plus 45.2 will give me a total of 146 points and I can add these three numbers together by doing our working here of course when we do this number we have to do our regrouping and remember our decimal point which is important so these three numbers add up to 106.4 So, 3 units plus 106.4 equals to 146 points. Now, from here, I can find 3 units, which is equals to 146 minus 106.4. And from here, 3 units is equals to, do our working, Now, taking note that for whole number and decimal, we cannot place the 6 above the 4 here, which is in the decimal place of 10th. So, I need to add a decimal and a 0 for us to do our subtraction in this case. Same, we need to regroup because 0 cannot minus 4 so I need to borrow from the 1's place and from here I can do 10 minus 4 gives me a 6 and then we proceed on to the decimal point and then proceed on to the 1's place 5 cannot minus 6 so we have to regroup from the 10's place So I have 9, 3 minus 0, 3, and 1 minus 1, 0. So 3 units represent 39.6 points. I need to find 1 unit. So 39.6 divided by 3 allows me to find 1 unit. and do our working as well decimal point and 2 so I have 13.2 but that's not the end because this one unit represents the red color portion that I labeled just now. Now, 
I need to find the number of points Howard earned. So I need to use 13.2 plus this 30.6 in order for me to find out how many points Howard earned. And we do our working and we will get the answer 43.8. And finally, we write our word statement. Howard earned 43.8 points.